This is Ray's Magnetic Slingshot 2. I have a Ray's Magnetic Slingshot, but I did not put the number 1 after it. So, uh, anyhow, you can look at it also. This is a revised edition of that. Much more efficient. Come into the gate and it fires. We're going to go ahead and show you some of the effects and how it's all put together. Okay. Uh, most... V gates they have a locking that is either at the beginning or the end of the cycle it either resists the input or it pulls back at the end and it does not go into the next cycle this there is an actual drag on this, an actual resistance, which isn't bad. It gets rid of all the very low, weak, spurious magnetic forces that kind of uh, irk you. <laughs> if you get this too balanced, even the uh, magnetic field of the earth after a while starts uh, moving things around. So I don't mind a little bit of drag. It kind of gets rid of that. And it, what we're looking for, my pet... Uh, projects are over unity effects and uh, what we're looking for is uh, low power in and high power out so if you put a penny's worth of energy in and you get a nickel's worth out then I call that over unity so we're looking for coming into the gate nothing to push it back or resist it this is similar to the effect that Howard Johnson had, if you watch his uh, films uh, and other people doing videos, they may or may not show you coming into the gate, you know, coming into it. They show you after it pushes through and uh, then it starts pulling. But uh, you can see there's nothing pulling or pushing back as I enter into the gate. So that's good. So. You see it catches it and fires it. You see it also has a push to it. That's good. And you see as it goes out the other side, there's nothing pulling it back. So that's what you want in a good gate. So it can move into the next cycle of firing. Okay. See how that goes? Okay, this is my setup here. I'm using a neo magnet, uh, iron plates, just bars, half inch wide, eight inch thick, three inches long. And I'll explain why this is working or my theory. Okay. When you have a bar set up like this, the magnetic pole actually shifts. So I'll demonstrate this. I have the uh, south faces magnets and the north faces on this side. So this is my north face. And as you see that the compass comes straight directly into the North Pole which is correct. I'll go ahead and place that on the bar of metal. Now instead of the uh, compass pointing to the set of magnets, you see how it's shifted down the bar so we have a new magnetic positioning and this can be used as a shotgun effect I had a uh, my other video before this was right angle magnetics that explains that also what I did was I took two of these and put them together 
before, if you had the single one, the new magnetic pole was right about there. But we'll see putting two together that now the magnetic positioning is now at the end. So we've actually shifted the magnetic pole downward. Now we're at a right angle. Come around here. We are now at a right angle coming into this magnetic field. So we're at right angles. Some things start happening that are not covered in conventional magnet magnetics that I could find anyhow. If we have This is, uh, before I get ahead of myself, this is the explanation how the pole has shifted now. If we have this set up as a right angled magnetics and we have enough gap between, I call this a uh, second story or a second level effects everything changes around. Before, the light poles would repel and unlike poles would attract. But in the second level magnetics, I call this second level, this is one level over here and this is another level here. That's my second story level. At that point, if you get far enough away, then instead of light poles repelling they are now a tr uh, unlike attracting now unlike will be repelling <laughs> okay uh, here's the south and the north I have a little button magnet here. It's I have uh, went ahead and marked that south. Now we will. Uh, I'll get rid of these so it doesn't cause any interactions. Okay, now I'm going to bring up my south side, facing at a right angle to the magnet here. Okay, south, north, you will find out they repel. Okay, so unlike poles normally attract, but here we see they, they are If you get in too close, then it does. That's that first story. But as I come out, then they will repel. Yeah. If I get too close, then they attract. So that's the difference between the first and second stories. That's as clear as mud, huh? Okay, we'll go ahead and I'm going to put one gate in. You'll see it's very, very, very weak. It's barely able to do anything. It's very weak. But when I put this second one in, it seems to have a synergistic uh, effect. So we put two of them in there and uh, really makes a difference. So there's Something there, I'm not really sure what's happening. Why it would make such a difference between one and two. Try that. On this side also. A little bit. When we put two together, it's just much more than, than what I can explain at the time. So, 
This seems to be a working gate. It has all really a negative uh, resistance into the gate because it's pulling in instead of just waiting to the point where it fires. It's actually pulling some, so I call that a negative. Like the electronics, they call about the uh, negative resistances. This is almost like a negative uh, magnetic field uh, instance. It starts pulling in, and then it fires. So it just has a nice firing to it. It continues on, nothing enough to pull back. Like I said, it does have natural resistance built in, but that kind of gets rid of my uh, spurious weak interactions that kind of stay up at night and say, why did that happen like that? Okay, so coming in, nothing pushing back, which is good for over unity effects. There's uh, more power out than the power required to push it in. Very uh, much similar to the effect of Howard J Johnson's gate. Uh, I'm showing both the input and output here. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I, uh, thank you for watching. And just to show you there, again, right angle magnetics. That was this force coming in this way magnetically, this force here. It's coming in magnetically. We're at two different levels uh, for the magnetics. They're not on uh, line. I call this offline. The magnets are not coming in like this, but they're, they're offset. So they're offset. And if you have the gap that's a, a, a enough, then we have the effects of conventional magnetism uh, changing just new rules. So anyhow, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. And... Uh, Come out with some ideas your own, and maybe you'll see some things which I didn't, which I hope you do. Thank you for, very much.